Oh no, I need to get to the other side. I need to get away from this minefield. Oh my god. Oh, I think I made it. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Damien and welcome back to another redstone tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a very simple minefield mini game. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so here's our building. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. And on the inside, we have loads of pressure plates scattered around the area. And the goal is basically to get to the other side. And of course, that means I have to cross my field of pressure plates, aka my minefield. All right, guys, so of course, I have the different areas highlighted so I know where to go. But for you guys, Guys, you won't know where to go because of course you can just place all of the blocks the same all right so as i cross this minefield as you can see i run into different traps like uh, if i step on this pressure plate right over here i should be affected with a random potion which is either slowness or harming which is what i decided to be and the reason i put slowness that way people um kind of walk slower and try to get over the minefield and kind of freak out and stuff and if you step on this one over here you do get the damage there is our harming that takes off about four hearts we can step on this one over here it's going to give us a reward or maybe this one over here works there we go and the rewards includes apples as well as iron ingots and gold ingots and yeah guys that's basically what i did i scattered good and bad um pressure plates all around this area and that's gonna give us some random and nasty surprises so if i step on this one i could get another damaging as well as i get a reward i'm not sure why because maybe this is placed right next to each other but yeah that's definitely pretty cool and then by the time i get over here i'm hopefully dead or i have some nice reward so that is my mini game guys you can of course add in as many pressure plates as you want and add in only deadly traps or only rewards as well as you could of course um you know implement this into your own design itself all right guys so i'm gonna show you how this works and also i'm gonna show you the maintenance area so the maintenance area is basically a ladder that goes to the bottom of the map so here we are at the bottom of the map and as you can see it is built on a super flat world so it's definitely going to be very compact now what i did was highlighted the rewards as the orange and then the birch color wood is going to be our nasty surprises so basically this is the block that you're going to step on the pressure plate and this is going to activate the redstone and then activate our dispenser and then um the rewards has droppers that way it doesn't like pop out your item in a random direction it just um you know drops it all the way to the top so guys, the reason I put redstone over here is because when you step on the pressure plate, it activates the dropper or dispenser. But if you put the dropper or dispenser right beneath the pressure plate, there's a, a smaller chance it will activate. So I'll show you guys how to do this in just a second when we go out here and um, we're going to be building it. So here we have our dispenser on the left and our dropper on the right. There's a block right above it and then a pressure plate. Now this will work as well, but the reason I put the redstone, like I mentioned, is because you have a higher chance of activating that dispenser or dropper. But basically, you step on this block over here, it pops out a mod. I would say and then this one's gonna pop out the reward and which is another apple All right guys, so to build this you basically just look down and you place your dropper or dispenser The droppers for your items the dispenser is to of course dispense your potions and yet again You could either build it like um, using this right over here Just placing a block on top or you could um, place a block next to it or right below it And then place a block on top like that and build it in that configuration So now we take our pressure plate place it right over here and then place it right over here and then grab ourselves a bit of redstone stone and either one of these work yet again, but I prefer this one because it adds in a higher chance of it activating. So you step on this block right over here, it activates our dropper, or you can step on this one and it activates our dispenser. All right, guys, so we're gonna build that system very quickly over here. As you can see, we have a 10 by 10 area. And to do this, I want to just go ahead and place down a block right over here and then make our floor level. Here we go. And then this is gonna be where our pressure plate's gonna be. This is gonna be where our um, dispenser is gonna be on top. So we can place down a dispenser right over here and then place another block right over there so there we go now we just place on some redstone and then we place on our pressure plate and it is now a working system so it's that simple guys you just need to decide how many of our dispensers and droppers you want across the map or maybe just droppers or maybe just dispensers so to do this we ba basically place two blocks right over here another one like that and just build up the area and we could do this in different areas and configurations so there we go and maybe one over here as well. There we go. And also you want to add some to the side of the map. That way, you know, people don't try to hug the side of the wall in order to complete the challenge itself. All right, so maybe one in the front right over here. And really it's all dependent on how difficult you want to make this. And also one right over here. And try to try not to make it like right next to each other because it's not going to work that well. All right, so maybe one over here in the corner should work just fine. 
All right, so let's go ahead and turn off the rain and then check out how to set up all the stuff. So yet again, the reason I place it in the L shape is basically to delete the block in the middle, look up, place down a dispenser, and then place down the redstone in the middle. So we can do this very quickly here. There we go. Grab ourselves our dispensers. I'm only going to be placing dispensers on this one because I just think um, the minefield works best with this. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Looking up. Um, looking up right over here, looking up over here, and then we look up right over here, and there we go. Very simple, very quick, and easy to do. Now we just need to go ahead and destroy the blocks in the middle, place on some redstone, and everything should be working just fine. All right, there we go. And then we have the final one right over here, and then we place on our pressure plates and whatnot. And of course, unlike my design over there, you could add in like our same floor that way no one knows exactly where each individual thing is and of course um if you want to make a maintenance area you just go ahead and dig down a block over here there we go and then um do it like this so you just put a ladder over there and then you go down to the maintenance area and of course the floor level is right above your head so you, need, you don't need to worry about space or whatnot so let's go ahead and just fill this out all right, so there we go. It is now completed. And then when we step over one of these random pressure plates, it should activate our dispensers, as you can see, or as you can hear, it is being activated in the background. Now, if you want to add in your nasty, deadly surprises, you can just go down here with a torch, place it down. Here we go. And then um, we can just go ahead and place down whatever we like inside the dispenser. And I really don't need to showcase that, but basically, guys, just place down a potion of instant damage. And then when you step on this, of course, it will splash it up, and then you'll get hit with our um, instant damage, which should be right over here so let's try this um, somewhere okay so there we go guys and now that should take out about four hearts and if you have enough of those it's gonna kill your enemies for sure so there we go guys that wraps up today's redstone tutorial if you enjoyed it please take one second to smack the like button also don't forget to leave a comment down below suggest another redstone tutorial you want to see on my channel that's usually how I pick it also if you guys want to see more of these awesome tutorials don't forget to subscribe to see more videos from me this was twist and I'll see you later